Ruger 357. Try one handle, let's see who does this water jug. I almost missed. A little toasty out and about. Oh. Don't try this at home. Hey everybody, Rahog here, the Ruger SP-101. Chamber in 357 Magnum. So, man, it was a, it was a blast to shoot. Uh, had a real, <laughs> real good time with that thing. And the recoil is manageable on the 357. Um, you know, I've got a uh, LCR for comparison. Uh, we're gonna talk about that when we come in and get a little overhead look. We'll, we'll check out some stuff, but you know, it's five shot. Has five shots, uh, comes in multiple calibers, 327, uh, 357, 38, uh, what else? I'm trying to think, nine millimeter, uh, comes in 22, uh, various uh, barrel lengths. This one is uh, two and a quarter, I believe, and they come in three, and I think they even stretch out a little bit more. But uh, it's a pretty nice handgun, had zero malfunctions. Uh, the only thing I will say is when we were un pulling the shells of these, these Aguilas or whatever, uh, however you say those, <laughs> um, it would, when you would eject the shells, it would, they would hang up here and you'd have to pull a few of them out. So with the Hornady critical defense, I shot a few there, hit a watermelon with that and shot this, uh, this, uh, <clears throat> fire extinguisher here. Um, with that, they fell right out. So you just push that and it just came right out like they should have. So I don't know if maybe it was a, this batch or something. Um, you know, don't think it was the gun in any way or shape or form, but, uh, Anyways, on reloads, it'd be a little tricky uh, in a high stress situation. So anyways, let's come in and take a uh, closer look up close and then we'll, uh, we'll give you some, uh, some more details. Okay, so just wanted to give you an up close view here. Ruger SP 101. I mean, the grips are great. Uh, recoil is definitely manageable. Get a good, I mean, it's a firm, it just feels good. I mean, it's a substantial firearm. Um, on this, all the controls are smooth, crisp. I mean, I tried to wipe it down just a little bit. Uh, don't know if you could see the sight very good, but I mean, that's basically it. Um, there's really not much to say about it. I mean, it, you know, it's a good, dependable firearm that's been around for uh, quite some time. Uh, some other options they come with, I don't know, the, the thumb, the hammer. It's got the stopping on there. It's very aggressive. I mean, you are not, going to slip off of that so uh, so there's that they do have the option of hammerless spurless um, <clears throat> to give you an example what that might look like something like this this is a Ruger LCR so I believe this is 17 ounces and this this one right here is 26 ounces so <coughs> excuse me so just to give you what that would look like and why one you know might want to go with some you know a hammerless or a spurless like like this one you know, because when you're drawing, you might get it caught on a shirt. Or if you're a female and you're carrying a like, purse carrier or something like that. You know, those hammers do catch on things. They can. Um, you know, but it's your job to clear your, your garment or whatever. So I'm not saying that. But it's just a feature that they offer that is something you can look at that's, that's pretty nice. So, anyways, that is pretty much it. Just trying to give you a good look here. Uh, I mean, I just, <laughs> I just like the looks of these, of course. I like the looks of all guns. But again, smooth, good recoil management. All those types of things. I mean, it's it's a pretty nice nice handgun. So we'll uh, we shot these. This is what we were shooting out of them. Shot a few of the 38s. Uh, did a couple together. Definitely can feel the difference. Of course, um, 
you know, in the 357 and 38. But again, <clears throat> they were manageable. Uh, the Hornady critical defense hit it low, and the, and the, the meat part down there <clears throat> still penetrated. You can hear it in there. Um, did not exit, of course. Well, obviously, it's making noise in there. So, but so there's that. Anyways, other than that, I can't think of anything else. We'll come in for our final. Ruger. Didn't miss that time. <laughs> I'm fogging up, man. It's hot out here. All right, I just want to do something real quick. Never shot two back to back with. I've got the three, a 357 left, and a 38. We'll do the. We'll do the 38 first, just to see a difference in recoil. If I'm gonna try to shoot the steel, I'm going to put my. Uh, put these back on. I can't see this. I'm gonna have to shoot the rubber. <laughs> fog it up all right ready so we're doing the 38 first just gonna double check yeah 38 first let me step over here a little bit all right 38 first what it feels like see the difference you can definitely tell the difference i mean obviously but i don't ever remember doing those same uh at the same time but anyways definitely uh you can tell a, a difference but anyways it's nothing too bad there it is the the ruger sp 101 uh on ruger's website the manufactured the msrp is uh i think it was 889 is what they're saying i've seen these anywhere from six upwards you know into sevens uh saw them on buds for uh, 659 you gotta pay an ffl and all that stuff but um pretty decent price so run over there and get you one um other than that i mean it's a pretty simple pretty nice farm there's not much to say it's simple it works it's dependable and reliable what else could you want so anyways if you get any questions go down below in the comment section you know let us know what you think uh let us know what your favorite wheel gun is whether it's ruger or any for that matter so and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell because you know what you like you know what you like you like it raw oh and don't try any of this at home please it's not very smart